Get ready for the ultimate definition of irony. Apparently, one cannot screen a documentary in a Canadian library if it is about radical Islam. And apparently, one can also not screen a documentary about a documentary screening being quashed either. Oh boy, just wait until you hear this one, folks. So last year, Danish expatriate filmmaker Michael Hansen made a doc on radical Islam entitled Killing Europe. The documentary warns of the dangers of the Islamification of Western Europe, and it was set to be screened at an Ottawa public library. Now, from what I can tell, the doc appears to be factually bulletproof and is in no way slanderous or libelous or defamatory. But today, we are all about protecting certain people from hurt feelings, and as such, the truth is indeed the first casualty. Last November, a cabal of individuals actually got together, ranging from Ottawa City Councillor Tim Tierney to the rank and file of Antifa, and of course the infamous Richard Warman, a man who is sometimes an employee of the Ontario Human Rights Commission and sometimes just a citizen using the Ontario Human Rights Commission to censor anything that he doesn't agree with on an ideological basis. Yeah, and no conflict of interest here when it comes to Warman wearing those two hats, right? So when the Ottawa Library caved into the bullies and denied a screening of Killing Europe, Hansen made a documentary about the assassination of his film entitled O Canada. Now I recently took in a screening of O Canada and folks, if you care about the radical erosion of free speech in Canada, this documentary is required viewing. In the meantime, here are a few excerpts. For starters, some media party journalists who, in theory, should be the strongest advocates of free speech, condemned the Killing Europe documentary without actually viewing it. And they even admitted to this fact. Check out Hansen's interview with Kieran Delamont of Metro Ottawa. Did you actually sit down and watch the whole movie? I haven't sat down and watched the whole movie. Uh, I very well made today, though. Yeah. Have you seen any of it? Uh, no, because it's just all on, I've seen the trailer, it's all on the okay. Vimeo. And get this, it turns out that even though the film was greenlit for screening based on a previewing by library staff and even the police, it was cancelled nevertheless. CEO of the library, Danielle McDonald, stated that she looked at the policies and procedures, which include the police actually viewing it, the staff viewing it, it passed those tests. But if it did not violate any hate speech laws, why was the screening cancelled? Local councilman Tim Tierney explained, there were some other hurdles that were there, and we decided that the best decision was, we aren't going to show the movie. We're not about closing out people's views on things, but this one doesn't pass the test. Well, actually, Councillor, you are indeed about closing people's views on things because the film did pass the hate speech test. But the enemies of the doc wanted to ensure that it was not only banned in Ottawa, but elsewhere too. And if a screening were to go ahead, there would be a price to pay potentially because certain vested interests, such as the uber litigious Mr. Warman, would be watching and listening for any offensive opinions. The existence of the Human Rights Commission and the grievance industry that has emerged behind it is being justified by the argument that Canadians are inherently racist. Based on this premise, it is therefore not only justified, but necessary to suppress free speech. Canadians are constantly being bombarded with headlines and statistics reminding them of their bigotry and readiness to violently oppress defenseless minorities. Now allow me to cut to the chase. Hansen made a doc about his Killing Europe doc being banned in Ottawa. The new doc is entitled Old Canada. And get this, incredibly, inexplicably, and ironically, Old Canada has been given the boot too, even though this doc is not about the Islamification of Europe. At the end of the day, the problem with Canada today is that we have too many Tim Tierneys, too many Richard Warmans, leftists who are doing everything they can to take away our freedom of speech. And we have too few Michael Hansons, free speech champions on a crusade to slay those dragons who would love to curtail free speech, especially if that free speech pertains to criticism 
of a certain protected class in Canada and the rest of the Western world. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzi. Hey folks, the Rebel has a new app. Please download that app and take the Rebel with you wherever you go.